Hey art friends, today we're doing another Valentine's lesson. We hope you're gonna follow along. What are we drawing? A kitten cupid. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. You need your drawing supplies. You need markers or something to draw with. Also some? Paper and something to color with. Yeah, and we're using markers to color with at the end, so we're also using marker paper to draw on. You ready to start? Yes. Let's first draw the nose for our little kitten right here in the middle of our paper. I'm gonna draw it about this big, kind of small actually. <laughs> And then we're going to draw the top of the little nose. And then let's color in that little upside down triangle. And we're going to draw the mouth next. We're going to draw a little guide point just below the nose. And then we're going to draw a U shape. But watch this. I'm going to draw it kind of tall. So it comes down a little ways. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Yeah, that's so we can make the little mouth look like it's hanging on to an envelope of Valentine's. We're going to draw a line coming straight out from the left side and then also straight out to the right side. And then let's draw two lines that come down for the side of the envelope. And we want these to match on both sides. Well, I'm going to make it a little taller too. There we go. And then we're going to connect the bottom together. <laughs> then let's draw a little heart in the middle. I'm going to draw two guide points to start the heart. And we're going to draw a curve coming out of the top guide point around and then straight into the bottom one. And then let's do the same thing on the right side. Curve around and then straight in and connect to the bottom. Okay, now let's draw the rest of the envelope. We're gonna start up here in the corner and we're gonna draw a diagonal line that connects to the heart. Then let's do the same thing on the right side. And then we're gonna do the same from the bottom corner to the heart on each side. We did it. There's our little Valentine's envelope. Now let's draw the eyes for our little kitten. We're going to draw big giant eyes. So I'm going to start here and draw a big circle. That's it? <laughs> <is> really big. <laughs> Kittens have really big eyes. <laughs> let's draw the same size circle over here for the other eyes. So I'm going to start in the same place. We're going to draw a circle to match. And that's okay if they're slightly different. <laughs> now let's draw the pupils and also the iris. We're going to start in the middle and we'll draw an oval shape. Our kittens are going to look a little cross-eyed. And then we're going to draw that same oval shape over here, but on the other side. Then let's draw another curve that comes around for the iris or the colored part of our kitten's eye on each side. Next, let's draw a little oval in the top left of the pupil. And then we can do the same thing over here. This is for the little highlight. And then we can also color in the pupil black, but leave that little oval white. Next, let's draw our kitten's head. We're going to start here next to the eye. I'm going to draw a curve that comes down and we're going to do the same thing on the other side too. And then let's draw a zigzag line right here. And then I'm going to draw a curve that connects to the envelope. And I drew three little zigzags. You could draw more or less. I'm going to draw another one over here. So we'll draw three little zigzags and then a curve into the envelope. Okay, now let's draw the top of our little cat's head. I'm going to leave a little space here and we're going to draw a curve that comes over to the other side and then leave a little space over here too. Now let's draw our kitten's ears. We'll draw a curve that comes out and another curve that matches on this side. And then let's draw a curve from the top down to the cheek on each side. And then right here, let's draw another curve inside and then we can draw zigzags that come down and connect to the outside of the ear. And then let's do the same thing over here. We'll draw a curve down 
and then we can draw zigzags that connect into the other side of the ear. Oh, let's add whiskers too. I'm gonna draw three little lines coming out of the cheek, and the middle one I drew a little bit longer. And then let's match those three little whiskers on the other side too. Next, let's draw our little cat's paws. I'm gonna start next to the envelope or right on the corner of the envelope. I'm gonna come around like this and then back up and I didn't connect on the inside. And then we can do the same thing over here for the right paw, curve around to match and then back up. Then let's draw two little lines for the paws on each foot. And then let's draw the body next. I'm gonna start here. We'll draw a curve that comes down and then into the paw. Let's do the same little raindrop shape on this side too. We'll come down, out, and then curve in at the very bottom. And then in between the paws, let's imagine this line going through and connecting for the bottom of the body. And then let's also draw a tail. I'm gonna start here and draw a curve that comes up. Then let's draw another curve right next to it that matches. And at the very top, we could draw an upside down U to connect those two lines together. What's our little kit and Cupid missing? Wings. Yeah, wings. Let's start right here and we'll draw a curve that comes out underneath the head on each side. And then we're gonna draw a curve that comes around for the first feather. And we can match on this side too. I like that your tail is a little longer than mine and you're overlapping. So this line could go behind the tail and actually come out right here. That makes it a little more tricky though. We're gonna draw the next feather right below it. I'm gonna draw it a little smaller. And on this side, mine's gonna to overlap too because of the tail. I'm gonna imagine it going through and then coming back in. And then let's add another, one last feather at the very bottom. And then sometimes Cupids are wearing diapers or shorts. So <laughs> let's draw a little curve right here <laughs> and I'm gonna match that same curve here. And then see these paws, I'm gonna draw these, the inside line coming up a little closer to the envelope. And then I'm gonna imagine the diaper or short line <laughs> coming through behind the paws and then connecting to match. We did it. We finished drawing our kitten Cupid. It looks really cute, except it's gonna look even better once we- Color it. Yeah, so my favorite part we are going to fast forward, so remember to pause the video at the end to match your same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yes. We did it! We finished drawing and coloring our cute little Cupid kittens, and they turned out awesome. I especially love yours. Oh, thanks. You can pause the video right now if you want to match our same coloring. You can also color your drawings any way you want. We also used our Art for Kids Hub alcohol-based markers. If you have the same set, we used two grays for our kitten. We used a light gray and also a dark gray. What are those colors? WG5 and WG3. Yeah, the WG5 is the darker one, and we use that for the stripes, and WG3 we use for the main body. Then we also used the pink 311 for the inside of the ears, and red 15 for the heart, and a light blue 182 for the shading on the wings and also the little diaper. On mine, I colored the eyes green and I used two greens, a dark green 54 and a light green 59. And on yours, you used a blue color. Number 66. Yeah, and you could also add a background. You could draw more kittens or even maybe your kitten is uh, sitting on a cloud. I especially love that you can't see the kitten's back paws because they're tucked underneath the diaper. <laughs> we hope you had fun drawing your kitten cupids. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.